fucking hell. I've had it with stupid people. Stupid people need to be put on an island and just blown the fuck up. Listen, I, <laughs> they're overrunning the population now and there's not a damn thing we can do to stop it except just put them, give them their own state. I don't know, some state nobody's using like Idaho or some shit like that. Just put them all there. All the stupid people can be stupid together because I'm sick of them. Listen, there was like several insta instances today of high quality pure grade heroin stupidity that I've experienced. And I thought I'd just share because people like it when I'm pissy. So I'm a little pissy. Um, all right. First thing is I go to a gym and uh, the gym, uh, I don't want to call it by its real name. I'll call it planet, planet fuck upness, uh, planet fuck upness. They recently acquired another gym that and I think I did a video on this. That was actually a decent one and, you know, seemed to work. And they decided they were going to come in there and fuck it all up. I'm sorry, make it better. They're going to make it better and we were just going to love it. And then they're just going to, you know, rook us in memberships and stuff like that. And just so much fun. And so they did that. They took over. And it was a, it seemed to be a disaster from the get-go. And then uh, there's another video I did on it. I don't even know what channel it's on. Fucking, it's on this channel or my other one. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this shit right now. <laughs> so uh, I thought everything was going great and then I've experienced some of their retard shit and by retard shit I mean some of the shit that started about a week ago so I go to the gym I hadn't been there in about I don't know a little while because of following idiotness going on over there stupidity idiotness I don't know, one or the other I can't even think I'm so fucking I'm tired too but I go over there and uh, you know I walk in and I go in there, I start to take a shower, and I realize there's, like, barely any hot water. There was, like, this much. And this is, like, two weeks ago or something like that, right? So I'm like, oh, well, you know, they'll, they'll fix this. I mean, it's just, you know, it's taking a while. But, you know, it's not like it's completely cold water. <laughs> Guess what came next? So then a few days after that, I go over there again, ice cold water. Just ice fucking cold water. And finally i'm just like i fucking had it there's a track by my house now granted i have to run past heroin addicts and fucking you know dead people laying around but shit i'm gonna do it to stay fit damn it so i decided to go you know do shit by my house and shower by my house it takes me longer to get to work then but you know they timed it all out but then i'm like fuck it i'm paying for a membership this is bullshit so i go over there again and this time at least they had signs up so there were no uh there's no hot water there was a bunch of signs up. Listen to the retardedness of where they put these signs. Did they put it out the front door where people would go, oh shit, maybe I don't want to shower here today or I'll make some other alternate plans and just work out? No. Did they put it on the inside of the gym? No. Where did they put it? Where? On the shower stalls. Are they fucking stupid? So basically you could get naked. I'm not saying I did from personal experience. I'm kind of had my towel around me. Start to walk up there and see, oh wow, there's no hot water. You fucking morons. And you can't even see the shower from like the, the, the bathroom area after you go from the locker. So I can't see, there's no like big sign saying, hey, no cold water. Can they use a Crayola and make one? No, they're dumb. So I'm like, fuck it whatever. I, 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 so I, I don't even remember where I worked out that day. I think I took a shower at a friend's house. It wasn't too far from there. And then I came over to work. So I'm like, fine. Again, two, three days running past junkies and running through this, you know, city of Chicago. I'm not one of those fucking happy joggers. You know what I mean? You see him outside, just like, it's like zero degrees out, but I'm still getting, I'm feeling a burn and all that. No, you're feeling your fucking limbs going cold. You're going to lose them. You idiot. I hate them. I hate those happy jogging people. Even in the summer where they're sweating, they're so proud of themselves. I just want to trip them. I want to stick my foot out and trip them because I'm that much of a miserable prick. All right. So then I go over there today and the signs are down. Think the problem solved? No. So I've just worked out. I'm drenched in sweat. And I go in there, no sign, so I'm thinking, okay, get in there, ice cold shower, just ice, ice cold. So I'm like, I, what the fuck? So I showered myself as best as I could. It was like the biggest horse bath you'd ever take in your life. I'm like, Shh. I mean, my, my dick went in inside, like my dick became a vagina briefly, just went, because it was so fucking cold. And then afterwards it came out of the shower, it came back out. I'm like, yeah, it's actually kind of nice. It's not that bad. Okay, TMI, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh... So then I'm like, that's it. I'm pissed. I'm cold. And I'm just like, fuck. So I put my shit, I get my shit out of my locker and I go to the front desk. And here's the first uh, chick I meet who's just bored and doesn't know anything, apparently. Uh, she actually said that. I go up there and I'm like, um, can you just tell me when there's ever like going to be hot water? Like, are you ever planning on it again or just like what? And she's like, I don't know. Say it again, sweetheart. What is it? What? Say it again. I didn't hear you right. I couldn't have heard you right. I don't know. You don't know when you're... I repeated that just like that too. I was like, I'm a condescending bastard at that point. Okay, I'm like, you don't know when you're going to have hot water. Nobody's told you anything about that. I don't know about that. You might... You have talked to the manager. I was like, 
Wow, that required a whole fucking thought from her. I'm surprised she just didn't pass out. Like I asked her again, I know, hot water. Uh, 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 doesn't compute. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's not about music or, you know, fucking sucking dick, so she's not interested. So then I go over to the main guy, the, the manager, because, you know, he's got a black shirt, so he's a manager. Uh, way to be. Um, he's checking some guy in and the guy sees me clearly waiting and this guy decides to have a fucking conversation with him. And I'm sitting there like, do you not, do I exist? Am I a ghost? What the fuck? Did I die and not know it? So I'm sitting there like, I just, at this point, I'm just being an ass. <laughs> if you cough enough, people will move. That's just a little tip, little J tip. So finally he gets all the way and the guy goes, can I help you? I'm like, yeah, broski. Yeah, bro -jiller. bro delicious. How's it going? Bro to the max. Um, do you know that there's no hot water in the gym? Yeah, there's none. Eh, so, like, ever? I mean, what's going on? We we called them, and, like, I, like it's going to be, like, a 911, probably, because it's, like, people want hot water. <sighs> so I know I'm talking to somebody who's, you know, these fucking creatines in his head. That's it. And I'm like, okay, um, are you going to send out an email? Or a text or anything when you actually get it. Like, come, there's you. your dick won't triple inside you. And if you're a woman, your nipples won't get that hard. And I can help you with that if you need me to. So he's like, we called them. And then, like, they're probably going to be working on it. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a few days. Probably because they know it's important. Does that answer your question? Huh? I'm like, No. That didn't answer my question at all. I could have said that. I could have just told myself that, walked out of the fucking gym. And then, what did he say after that? He's like, um, he's like, yeah, they know it's important. I'm like, well, do you know there's no signs in there saying that, you know, there is no hot water. There's no signs anywhere. He goes, I know. Somebody told me that they took him down. I swear. Why would someone do that? How about putting some up, you stupid motherfucker, you? Fucking wake up. Wake up. If I ran that gym, they'd all be fired. I'd all be fired. I'd be like, you bitch for being dumb. You motherfucker for not knowing shit. All y'all, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of Jay's Fitness because you're a bunch of assholes. I'm the, as a matter of fact, let the customers line up and take turns punching them in the face. <sighs> so, you think it's bad enough there? Okay, fine. I'm like, okay, not a big deal. Whatever. I know it's all petty shit in the long run, but whatever. I'm just a cranky bastard. So, I'm like, I'm going to go get like three things. Three things. One, two, three. We have one, two, three things from the local food store, Jewel. Why did I think it, there wouldn't be a line around the block? Why? I mean, you know, I they only had like 20,000 cashiers who are just like, you know, retarded and zombified and uh, and don't want to do anything, apparently. I go there, lines, like, you should have seen this shit. Like, people were lined up into aisles, into aisles of, like, food and shit. Like, they're just, like, standing there. Everybody's grumpy. Knows, nobody knows what's going on. So I get in the one line, and then there's Shirley, the stupid woman who sits there and decides she's going to just, you know, take her sweet time scanning everything. Don't you love that when you're fucking in a rush and and by the way, she's in the express aisle. Doesn't nobody else see the irony there? Express, okay. And, uh, you know, she's helping. So there's the a thousand old people who have 80,000 coupons. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Of course. And then there's a, the people I can't stand the most who sit there and argue about a fucking gallon of milk. Shut up. Shove the milk up your fucking asshole. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's fucking 25 cents you're arguing over. That's what was holding up the line on my end. I mean, the other lines were worse, so I shouldn't be bitching that much. This bitch is sitting there like, is it? Yeah, but is it? Is it getting 25 cents? What about the 20 cents? Bitch, I'll give you the 25 cents. Just get the fuck out of my way. Call it a get the fuck out of the way fucking payment. Just get out of my way, stupid ass. But she's sitting there making a thing out of it because it's not Dean's milk. And, well, the lady, the checkout lady's like, it's not Dean's. If it was Dean's, you could save a quarter, uh, but you can't. So I don't want it if I want it then. At this point, I was just ready to, like, hit an old person for the first time. <laughs> I was just ready to shut the fuck up. Take the milk. Take the milk, whore. I'll pay for it. Just get the fuck out of my way. God. So she leaves the milk, and they're confused for a moment as to what to do. She just leaves the milk because she goes back in the store. And I'm like, oh, hell no. She's not going to go get another milk that's at the other end of the aisle. There's literally, at this point, like, 10 to 12 people behind me. In just my line, there's a dozen other lines who all clogged. Fuck you. Check that, put put that milk, put it, do whatever you want with it, sit on it. I don't give a fuck. So then the bitch decides she's going to go on a break. <laughs> Why not? She's going to go on a break and somebody else is going to take over. And this guy's about 100. And uh, he comes over and he starts going, beep, fit, slower than she was, slower. So I'm like, oh my God, please don't let me lose it. So I finally make it to the front. Like it took forever. So I put my shit on the thing and he actually does this. I'm bringing my debit card up and he's like, he leaves. He fucking just left. He just walked the fuck. 
walk away and there's a bunch of people behind me in line like, where the fuck is this motherfucker going? He decided it'd be a good time to put carts out. What the fuck? Yo, I, I hope, I wish I would have known. But like, oh, you want to put carts out? I would have run him over with one. I would have repeatedly rammed him until his legs were fucking, you know, just dust. Fucking, I'm like, and then he comes back and like five to six minutes later, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I had to put carts out because carts need love too. And I'm like, and this store, I happen to know for a personal fact, is going under. Like, they're not doing well financially. I know everybody's getting hours cut and shit like that. I'm not going to tell you how I know, but I do know. Wonder why. Because there's another grocery store not too far that makes yours look like a piece of shit. If somebody, if, you know, fucking one person is in line, they open another line like that. Do you not play with them? I think they beat their employees, but I'm all for it. <sighs> so, yeah, that's just the random dumbassy shit I've been dealing with today. And uh, I just thought maybe it's entertaining. Maybe it's not. But therapeutic for me to get it out of my system. Almost at work. I'm sure there's going to be something there to piss me off, but whatever. Uh, hope you like, and if you don't, I, I, I'm sorry, and I'll write you a poem. I don't know. I don't know.